Hey everyone, welcome to Surf Soon, a numerically rated Surfcraft review series. If you dig this episode, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get to the show. In this episode, I'll be reviewing a 7-1 triplane hull by Channel Islands. The triplane hull is Devin Howard and Britt Merrick's latest creation in the alternative side of Channel Islands. After the success of their mid-model, Devin wanted to build a board with a bit more volume, pushing that wide point up for a more easy ride. Oh, and let's not forget the triplane hull that makes this board much different from anything else in the CI line. Does that more stubby outline cater to less than perfect surf? Well, let's get a closer look. The nose and tail rocker are elevated enough for the ability to bury that rail, but also allow a quick trim speed. The nose starts with a 50-50 rail to a fuller 60-40 meeting a down rail with hard edge starting 21 inches from the tail. Bottom has a slight roll to a triplane meeting a double concave. All right, so first thoughts. And uh, Devin Howard, you have been leaking all of this footage and getting us so excited about this and uh, it, it's so interesting and so fun that you're, that you're making these style boards. When my local Channel Islands rep allowed me to borrow this particular board, I was actually very surprised at how full it is throughout the whole board. I was kind of thinking it would be more of a displacement hull-ish style board. Um, but you know, the outline itself is very stubby looking, um, but it does have this different bottom, obviously the triplane hull. And uh, yeah, let's get the categories and figure this one out. All right, so maneuver I gave an eight and you know, the outline with the wide point a little forward, you do have a little bit of board in front of you that you do have to maneuver with and it does not have side bites like the Channel Islands Mid, that this is obviously kind of a different style board, but I think that this board is made for maybe the day after the day. And that's where this board kind of completes as far as maneuver. It works really well in kind of junky surf. It turns very well in junky surf. It does not have that lift as if it had side bites, but it still does have a little bit of tail rocker so you can kind of engage this rail that the hard edge is starting 21 inches above, lifting the rest of this board, allowing for a pretty quick turn. The only thing that I did find that I did not love about it is that I found that it was a little tough to turn in high speed or bigger surf. And I think the reason why is the triplane is concentrating so much on momenting and keeping speed that it kind of takes away from the ability to turn at high speeds. Let's get the drive though. Drive, 8.5. And kind of similar to maneuvering, what you're gonna find is you're gonna find a good amount of speed off of your bottom turn, but you want to kind of connect the turns and go for your high line and then get more drive. If you see the way that Devin surfs. He does a lot of high lines, but they're a lot more aggressive. And this board kind of captures that feeling very well. And I think that has a lot to do with the drive of it, um, especially with the fin, which we'll talk about at the end. But as far as drive in smaller surf, you're not going to find it as much, but in bigger surf, you're definitely going to find it, which is kind of interesting because that's the exact opposite of maneuver. All right, trim, 8.75, but it's tricky because you would think stubby outline. The trim 
has got to be here because this is the wider point of the board. But at least what I found, and I could be really wrong, I found that the trim point is right here. Is it going to trim out of the deeper spots of the wave? Not necessarily, but for the size of this board in general, it actually trims really well for the overall volume and also for the length of the board. Volume distribution duck dive, I gave it a 7.5. And uh, you know, volume distribution itself in a width aspect, it's not that crazy, especially for a seven foot board. But I am kind of surprised at how much width there is throughout the rails. Not necessarily in the tail, but from like here to here, there's a lot of width. And I don't know if that has to do with the way that the triplane hull actually works. Uh, if that's what's giving it its good trim section right here, if that's what's giving it its drive. Duck dive, very surprised very easy to duck dive, very easy to get underneath the water, even with the wide point being underneath right here. Um, I took this out on a relatively big day, had to put a leash on just to be safe, and found myself very easily getting under almost all the waves. So yeah, paddling, I gave it an eight. And uh, you know, this style board, in the past for me has always been a great paddler. You know, it's it's got this stubby outline where, you know, I'm thinking it's gonna be kind of more hullish, which maybe don't paddle the best, but this one really paddles into waves very easily. I felt very confident uh, paddling out, having to rush when I saw a set coming at me to be able to get over it. Uh, it allowed me to drop in super duper late, and uh, I was actually surprised at a 7-1. At this point in my surfing, I get a little nervous when I see anything below 7-4 as far as how I'm going to be able to paddle it, but this one actually worked out really well. Special moments, I gave an 8.25, and I did not get a lot of time on this board in general. I was only able to surf it for two days, but I tried to make the most of it. I had some very long waves on it. I had some bigger waves on it. I didn't necessarily get to ride it in small mushy stuff, but I think in general, I would much rather ride a longboard anyway. Uh, special moment wise though, is definitely on the bigger day, just doing a big bottom turn and coming up and hitting the lip and then coming down, just doing those very free flowy, uh, just high line turns. It just felt really fun, uh, good time. And uh, yeah, special moment. So fins, it wouldn't be fair to try this board without the fin that was designed for it. And I don't know how it worked against other fins. I think that this fin has a nice stiffness to it, which allows for it to not feel flexed out at times, more hully. It has a lot more drive. I think that's important. I believe, and I'm sorry if I got this wrong, the spicy fin by True Ames. Um, I, again, I didn't try anything else. I, I really didn't want to. I just really wanted to try what Devin was kind of going for with this board, the complete package. Uh, I didn't want to drive a Volkswagen Jetta with off-road tires, and uh, I'm happy that I tried it. I think that this is probably the fin that you're gonna wanna go with, but uh, feel free to try some others. Just no pivot fins, obviously. So final thoughts. I wish I had a little bit more time on it. Again, I said I had about two days. Luckily there was swell, which I was super amped about. Um, it's always nice to try a surfboard when there's waves. 
I think that this board could use more of a point setup and maybe not a beach break. And I would have loved to have taken this up north uh, Dean, if you could let me borrow this one again in like September, that would be amazing. Um, I've never tried the mid, as I said, but I feel like a lot of people that maybe bought the mid thought that it would be this mid length that was maybe a little bit more uh, user friendly. And I think that this is Devin kind of making up for that. Um, it turns off the tail, but doesn't turn crazy, probably like the mid. You know, obviously it's a different tail shape. Uh, let me know if you're interested in me maybe doing a same, same, but different with this board and the mid. If I can get both of them at the same time, I would love to. But that's my thoughts on the triplane hull by Channel Islands. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you everyone for tuning in. If you like this episode, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Feel free to share, comment, and all that good stuff. Until next time, there are always waves on the way. So hang tight, surf soon. A great way to support the show even further is to grab some of our limited edition apparel. All of our apparel is designed and printed in-house by us at Surfcraft Union. To purchase, you can visit our website at www.surfcraftunion.com.